Okay, Shadow. Welcome. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there. Oh, we're not going to do a spawn video per se. We're going to do the history of the Romeo Hearst, which is pretty darn interesting. I've had this planned out for a while. Hopefully it comes out the way I want it. Darn it! This started out on uh, Vice City. I thought this was in the Romeo Hearst where it showed up in Grand Theft Auto 3. I was wrong. Had to do a little bit of research. This is the one from Grand Theft Auto 4. Not that much different than the one on that we get now on Grand Theft Auto 5. The Romeo Hearst is a vehicle which first appeared in Vice City. It is named after George Romeo, the director of the movie Night of the Living Dead is who they named it after. <laughs> kind of creepy and funny at the same time. You'll see here in the next screenshot. Yeah, I know, I did a lot of screenshots on this, but I had to do a little bit of research on things. Now, we all know how to get this in five. Pretty easy. Uh, have somebody with a hearse or do the motorcycle club mission right now. There we go. Yeah, he's the director of the Night of the Living Dead series. Romeo is Spanish for Rosemary. So is it R Romeo's Baby is the old uh, movie? <laughs> the one with uh, Frank Sinatra's ex-wife? Mia Farrow? Would we call it? I guess they call it in uh, Latin Romeo's Baby. I don't know. That, that would sound kind of creepy. But, you know, like I said, we know how to get it in five. There's a couple ways. How I, I told you the story how I got it on um, Xbox 360. I've been spawning these things since my Xbox 360 days. On PS4 and on PC, it doesn't work the way I, I, I did it without one. Um, you went into the... the uh, shark card store backed out and then they would reset the cars would reset it took me like about two hours and I ended up getting one this one is the first one from uh, Vice City now you could get four people in it back then I think they changed that after Grand Theft Auto 5 because I think you could get four people in them all the way up till uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 all right there's the one from San Andreas. And the one in the beginning was uh, the one from uh, GTA 4. Now, GTA 4, you had to do a mission. I think it was called Undertaker. You did the mission. At the end of the mission, you jacked the guy out of the damn uh, hearse. And put it in your garage or in front of your uh, penthouse or your apartment there. That's how you did that. Um, pretty simple and now this is the one we have today and very customizable and everything else now they're not going to sell for a hell of a lot but you know, these are pretty good cars I think you know whether I've been blamed for being morbid for uh, spawning these things like I said these started I started out on my Grand Theft Auto 360 days and I've tried the method on 360, uh, on PC, and on um, PS4, it does not work. All right, that casket does not come out of there. There is supposed to be a rare one now on Grand Theft Auto V without the casket. Without a casket and without a back license plate. So far, I have not found it. Not saying it's not in there, but so far, I have not been able to find one without one. And I have spawned, I don't know, a caboodle of these things. Yeah, I blo I blocked out the welcome back. You know, this here is the church over in by the golf course. This is where I mainly spawn them. Now, I spawn them on PS4 and I can spawn them on um, PC as well. I can spawn them on uh, either or. 
and there are people on Xbox One, Xbox 360, and everything in the discussion tab. Alright, nothing but peace and love, people. Peace and love, and that's it with that stuff. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her, give her a likes up. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Let's see how high we can get them likes to go there, adults and kiddies. Wanna see more videos like this or others that are on the channel? Well, don't be shy. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of Venture here. Tally flipping the hell?